Clear to fire. Three, two, one. It's a direct hit. So watch the verdict. That doesn't look like it stopped it. Shot the top of the star off. She's no bulletproof. No. The bullet clipped the star, but passed right through the dummy. I can see the path of the bullet right there, heading all the way up through the gel and exiting there. And that would make any dude one dead duck. Silver itself is obviously not the hardest of metals, so it's not terribly surprising. But in this case, it didn't seem to do anything at all. So what's up next? Well, silver's out. Next up, we've got a badge, which is called a shield, and it's got a copper back with a bronze star. OK. It's a different badge, but will it be a different result? Gun is loaded. Adam lines it up in his sights. But just like test one, he hasn't hit it dead center again. That was low and to the left. And that's stirring up some shooting rivalry. What's that you were saying about uh, being a better shot than I am? A rivalry that goes way back to what is bulletproof part one. Did I even hit it? Over the top. Oh, I think it's your turn, sir. I can't seem to hit that damn thing. OK. <laughs> But this time, Adam ain't given up without a fight. I'm going to hit the dot this time, I, I swear. And for bronze on copper take two, it's a much better shot. Oh, looks like I slid off the star. Yep, he's hit the center star. And this time, the results are surprising. Look at that. There's... Unlike every other bullet we've fired that's gone all the way through, this one is stopped in the middle. So that extra piece slowed it down. It slowed down significantly. Uh, there might actually be something to this. Although the bullet was definitely slowed down, it was still a lethal shot. So it's on to the third and final badge. Nickel badge with a bronze star. It's tougher than the others, but is it bulletproof? OK. If I have to hazard a guess, I don't think that this, even with these two pieces of metal, is going to stop this bullet. Well, there's only one way to find out. How did I do? Amazingly, the badge actually catches the cap. Whoa! Dude! And just as amazing, for the first time that I can remember, Adam's speechless. Holy cremoly. The bullet struck the star dead on, and the shield stopped it flat. The wearer can thank his lucky stars because he'd be safe. If I was a policeman and this happened to me, you know what? I'd still wear the badge. He'd <laughs> be like, I've already had the worst day possible. You can't make it any worse. So while bronze and nickel fail to deliver, gold goes to the nickel, a bulletproof result that slates this story as plausible. Next up, we've got a real cracker. Is it casual Friday? What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. Yellow tracksuit, sword. We're doing Kill Bill myths. The fans can't get enough of our martial arts myths. And in fact, since the Ninja special, we've been inundated with requests to do the coffin punch scene from Kill Bill. Uh, that's the scene where she's buried alive and she punches her way through the casket, climbs through six feet of dirt with her bare hands. Right, no sword, right? There's no sword. OK, put the sword down. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. It's a chilling scene that nightmares are made of, as our yellow-suited heroine literally gets buried alive. <laughs> Trapped six feet under, escape seems impossible. Unless, of course, you are a trained martial arts assassin. So undeterred by being interred, our heroine uses a series of three-inch power punches, cracks the casket, worms through the soil, and lives to take her revenge. But is such a death-defying deed really doable? Hmm. All right, you guys, how do you want to test this one? Well, I think the biggest issue is going to be the fact that she didn't have a lot of room to punch. She only had about three inches. So we have to see how much force you can generate from just a three-inch punch. Then I think we should get a real coffin and see how much force it takes to break through that. All right, well, assuming we can punch through the lid, then we need to find out if you can dig through six feet of dirt with your bare hands. Well, before we even get to that, how are we going to test force? Last time we test the force of a punch, we almost broke Tori's hand. Yeah. OK, well, I got a brand new technique. I guarantee you no one is going to get 